Good evening. This is Tina. How are you doing today? Uh, this exercise we are gonna do is to fix the add product. Okay. So let's take a look at here. So this is our homepage so far. And then if I go to this other product, this link works, right? But when I submit, doesn't it work? Okay. We're gonna see the exception. So see here, okay, that didn't work. So now we are trying to do is to fix the issues here, okay? So how to fix, uh, sorry, okay. We go to the home page, uh, no, no, go to our ID. First, we have to find out where this submit goes, okay? So here, let's stop this request. We will go inspect element. And then we will go is uh, uh, here. When I click submit button, it will go to our slash admin slash add product. So we will go to our code, which is has the slash admin slash add product. Okay, which is uh, go to our router. Uh, because in our RPGS for register admin routes i have admin here okay so we will go to admin slash add product which is a post because here is a post right so here post add product we go to post product okay so this is a part we are going to change which means this part doesn't work and which means actually is this part doesn't work okay we still using new product, but the way is here in our product here. Sorry, this uh, sorry. Oh my God, the product is uh, this module right, which is this product, and we change it to using mongoose, and the mongoose product doesn't have a constructor. Doesn't have a constructor. You can think this one is the constructor, but the constructor is new. Is not this way. Why is my controller? The constructor to pass value is not this way anymore. What's the way? You have to follow this way. Okay. This is a structure. Okay, so we have to modify here in our controller, not using this way. Instead, we will follow the this way. Okay, the order doesn't matter, but you must have a value which is title and which is image URL. So here we will give title and what's the value? Title. And you can also remove the remove this one and using this one. Request the body dollar title. You can also do like this way. Okay. And then image URL, image URL, you can also use in this one, image URL, like here. Okay. And also you can use in price, price is request dot body dot price, right? And we can use in description. Okay. Description is body dot description. Okay. So what are those here? Those will be represent as your schema defined this is our schema have a title image url price description that's why in our controller here you we have to have a title image url price description okay and by doing that we don't need to have those okay and then uh you can directly call a self because we are create a prod this instance using the model we exported from our uh, schema right like a mongoose model right and the mongoose model we are already have a self method so you don't need you to define by yourself see here in let me remove this part in this uh, product js do i have a self method no and here when we call self it still will be successful and why? because mongoose has a self method okay and this self method later it's gonna be also be used for update okay so let's take a look at if this functionality works okay previously when we're trying to save it failed right so now we go to this page again okay add a product we are gonna using react price 30 and the, the image url we're gonna use in this one okay and the description very good okay and then submit 
and you are see this one submitted successfully okay we can add another one like angular price price 20 image you are I'm gonna use the same okay this one is uh, great okay and submit you will see this one being served successfully okay so let's summarize okay once we define our model okay our model using mongoose define model okay to sell product we just uh, we still using new new this uh, model which is a product which is uh, whatever you uh, exported here and uh, what is this word product come from this product is come from here okay when you require you assign this model to be a product if you call ABC here then it cannot, here gonna be new ABC and uh, here in the model you have to follow the structure you define in your schema okay which is uh, this is your schema and when you want to define a mo new model uh, new model instance this title must match here this image you are match here this price match the schema define this description match here and after you do then you can give the value we retrieve the from a table right then we call the same method okay and the same method is already built in mongoose okay you don't need to do by yourself and then it will call the uh it will return a promise then you can call then then you can call the catch okay uh that's it for this video and uh, thank you for watching see you bye bye